The NFL suffered a big ratings drop and a loss of public support after dozens of players publicly protested the national anthem. The president blasted the league, and in response, Commissioner Roger Goodell suggested it was somehow wrong to disrespect a pro sports league. Now a leaked audio tape reveals a secret meeting between NFL owners and players where they discuss how to mitigate the impact of the protests. Missing from the agenda, any notion the league should stand up for the dignity of the anthem of the country or anything like that. Jason Whitlock rejoins us tonight. So, Jason, I've only seen the New York Times, the Mark Leibovich version of this. I haven't heard all three hours of the tape, obviously. But you really get a picture from the Times story of a group of people pretty out of touch with what's happening in the rest of the country. Yeah, I think so, but we got to remember, this is the New York Times reporting the story. This is a three-hour meeting. They right. have the entire audio tape. I'm a little bit reluctant to rely on the New York Times representation of what happened here because the New York Times is a part of the attack on football. And yeah. so I'm not surprised reading this story that no one looks good, no one looks like they have a real clue about what they should do because I think the New York Times is invested in tearing down football, the NFL in particular. Interesting. A nuance that went over my head. Part of the story describes the owner of the Miami Dolphins, this guy Ross, suggesting a march on Washington with NFL owners and players. What would that look like? I'm not sure, but in a meeting like this, I don't blame people for spitballing ideas. It's the first time you're having a meeting about this issue. Again, I'm a bit sympathetic to NFL owners on this because they have a successful television show that they've been running for 50, 60 years. Yeah. They got a curveball thrown to them by Colin Kaepernick. And, th and so I'm not surprised they didn't know how to handle it. And they can't believe the way the media is all rigged against them because you can't inject common sense into this discussion. The NFL is a television show. And so you have a television show. If you decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to talk about cooking every day on this show rather than politics. Your bosses would have a right. No, 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 no. That's not what we do on our television show. <laughs> and the NFL owners have a right to say, no, 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 no. On our television show, we're very patriotic. We don't have protest right before kickoff of our football games. That's not the way we conduct our TV show. Our viewers don't want it. The people in the stands don't want it. We get you want to talk about these issues. We'll give you money. We'll pay you for playing these games. You can talk about these issues on your time, not during my television show. <laughs> the media needs to explain that to people. Yeah. Everybody has to abide by rules in television and in other employment issues. If I worked at the post office or UP anywhere, there's rules I have to follow. We're <laughs> acting as if these players no, can you're right. make their own rules, and you're anyone right. that objects is a racist. That's absolutely ridiculous. I it wish is. the NFL would take this issue by the horns well, because afraid. the NFL has a great story to tell, and football has a great story to tell about its help of African Americans. This league is 70 percent black. Well, no, no, but they're too. They're, 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 on, that's on why you should run it all about anything. You should, you should run it. They should hire you. I'd hire you if I were in the <laughs> NFL. Kick that Goodell character. Jason Whitlock always says things I've never thought of, and I appreciate it. Great to see you. Thank you. Friend zone next.